your girl face we here welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by y'all already know the drill if you are not subscribed make sure you do so like comment and share thank you so much all the love i've been receiving it's just a blessing um i'm really hot i just came in from outside running around doing so much the weather's getting nice now we're in phase two they letting us out so you know what i've been locked down just like the rest of you have been locked down for a while now and i have been outside guys mask on and all of that but i have been outside showing my feet off that i have been purchasing and waiting to touch concrete so let's just jump right into this reviews without further ado so today's review is going to be on the air jordan 6 hairs and they were released earlier in the month of june the 17th to be exact with a retail price of 190 and i'm gonna throw it back for you guys because i also have the air jordan hair sevens from the 2008 countdown pack so i'm gonna compare those two for you so let's just jump into these reviews the model's theme is a nod to the og air jordan 7 hairs Boasting a clean white leather overlays, a light gray underlays, the model's theme is further evidenced on a translucent tongue with the iconic hair print. A carrot themed lace lock, pattern inner lining and insoles, and finally infrared hits throughout and across the rubber outsole rounds out the style. Additionally, the model will be packaged in a special box. Retailing at 190. So, Here's the box, this is the big boy. As you can see, there's a big giant carrot on the top. Really cute, Bugs Bunny, we get it. Mm -hmm. Inside paper is just like how the tongue is. I like it, I think it's really dope. Gives me 90s flavor. You already know I hate this smell. Ew. But you know, I, I will put up with it because I'm addicted to sneakers. Yeah. Sorry, I had to change the lighting real quick because it was a lot going on with the light and you couldn't see the details on the sneaker. But here's the sneaker up close. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into what I like about it. I love the inside design. It's just like the paper inside of the box. It gives me a whole 90s feel, like I stated before. It's real dope. Um, even though, you know, people are not gonna see that part, I really like it. That part stands out to me. The gray and the white is cool. Everything comes together. I love how the tongue also has like this rubber translucent tongue. I like that a lot. I love the little lace lock, or as you know, I like to call it the butterflies. I like all of the colors because I like bright colors and I just like sneakers that stand out. I kind of honestly wish that some way or another that this design was somewhere else more noticeable. That's just me personally. I don't know how the people would feel, but yeah. The back Jumpman is purple, which is really cute. What I don't like about it is how this middle part is red. I'm pointing to the Jumpman, but obviously I'm talking about the mid section of the sneaker is red. And the bottom is not the same red. It's like an infrared, almost like a pink. And I mean, on first look, infrared doesn't come to mind. It looks like pink. And it just kind of slightly throws the sneaker off because it's red and pink and all these different things. Instead of splattered, the infrared is splattered throughout the sneaker, but that's clearly two different reds and it's literally pink. Like it's cute if y'all would have just kept that same color going on. Like if you would have kept the red, red, or you wanted to do the infrared on the tongue as well, on the midsection, then that would have been okay. But the mix to me kind of throws it off like just looking at the shoe without an outfit, it throws it off. But the shoe is okay. The leather is good. Um, not too much bad things I could say about the sneaker. It's just that it was not a sneaker for me to go crazy over. I wasn't really, you know, that thirsty over this sneaker. I like how they have the box 
with a whole carrot on it. I just like that. I think that was cute because sometimes, you know, you want the box to not be so basic. Like, you want something special. You want a reason to keep the boxes, you know, and not mess it up. And I think that was really cute of them. So what we're going to do now is jump into the Air Jordan Hair 7s from the Countdown Pack from 2008. Definitely a retro and definitely a throwback. This was the original box it came in. Michael on there. And I didn't even look at these sneakers. Oh, these are all of his Jordans on the side. It only goes up to his Concord 11s. So, starting with the one, and it goes all the way down to the Concord 11s. It also has writing on the back, just really thanking you for the purchase and getting furthermore into details, you know, yada, 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 with the sneakers. <sighs> Another thing that I wanted to definitely point out is that um, on the label, it's from 2008, so it says from 2008, um, countdown pack. But guys, look at the retail price on that thing, like, wow, that's great, great, like, wow. Wow, 2008, hey, damn. These are just 190, like, all right. Slide, slide, slippity slide. Okay. So this is an up close look at the Hair 7s from 2008 countdown pack. Comparing them, they have a lot of similarities. Obviously, the title of the sneaker, and here they are side by side with each other. They are very much similar. See how this bottom is definitely red. This is pink. Like, you have to, I don't know if you could tell on um, the screen that it's pink, but you could definitely tell that it's definitely not as red as this one. These are the bottoms. Jumpman is still purple. Frontwards, they have the design on the older one on the outside without the translucent tongue, which I like that because I like the fact that you could see the design more on this tongue. I like the design. I think you get really get crazy outfit wise with the tongue having a little bit of more splash of color. The back is also different. This has a pull tab, but it's definitely not like this one. They have a rubber 23 here, as to this is embroidered. It seems to both have sock lining, kind of, sort of, but this one, it's very noticeable, the whole sock liner type of thing. And this, is, again, is the older version, and this is the newer one. So personally, I really, I really like the 7. You know, I understand they wanted to recreate it and do it over, but I honestly like the seven what I don't like is this little pieces right here I don't know if you could tell but they're like rubber it's like real rubbery like not even rubbery like what is that I don't know what is like plasticky type of feel to it it's real shiny I don't love that part, but everything else about the sneaker, I do love. I like how they have the silver tips at the end of the string, and these do not have it. As I'm talking, I just realized that they do have Jordan symbols on it, which is a dope touch. But if they came out with a seven and a six, and the seven was more so like how this seven is. I would definitely choose the seven over the six. It just pops a little bit more to me and more for my style. So guys, let me know if you were able to cop these, like if you like them, if you didn't like the fact that this bottom infrared is really pink. Like let me know how you felt about your purchase if you purchased these or if you were planning on purchasing these. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this review. And again, if you are not subscribed, make sure you do so. And make sure you put a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video, which is going to be a review on the Jordan 14 and Jim Red. Again, thank you for stopping by. And I will catch you guys in the next video.
Peace.